So we see a lot of people do the Pixel as mod and they spend a lot of money on these expensive video cards. And I did make a video for you guys doing that, putting an RX Vega 64 in my Mac Pro just to show how to do it and that it could be done and that it worked. But I don't necessarily think that there was a need for it. So previously I was using an NVIDIA GTX 682 gig card and it worked fine. I was still able to edit video. It's still, you know, it was smooth. There was no lagging. I really don't know what else to say about it. I just don't feel that there's a need to spend ungodly amounts of money on, on these video cards people are asking just to update a a uh, computer that is 10 to 14 or 15 years old. Um, if, you, if you have thousands of dollars to spend on a graphic card, I think that it would be better spent if you were to just go buy an M1 Mac Mini or a Mac Studio or something that's still going to be supported and it's going to give you that better performance. Um, but for this video, we're going to be talking about the NVIDIA GTX 680, so you can pick these suckers up really cheap on eBay. 50 60 bucks ballpark, uh, depending on if it's a two gig, four gig model, um, some are 80, it just depends. This here is a four gig model, and then I also have behind me a two gig model. They both work great. Um, one thing to note though, is some four gig models do have one six pin and one eight pin, so you will need an adapter. I'm gonna link that below. Uh, if you get a two gig model, almost all of them are just two six pins, so you can just use what's already in the uh, Mac Pro on the motherboard. Anyway, so let's let's get into it. So there's two ways we can go about doing this. So you can either do it with the GTX 680 in your Mac Pro or if you have another computer that is running Windows, you can do that in this computer as well. So you are gonna to need to remove the GPU that you currently have either in the computer um, running Windows and replace it with the GTS 680 or you're gonna do the same thing with the Mac Pro Tower where you're gonna remove the current GPU and replace it with the, the GTX 680 PC card. However, if you're doing this on your Mac Pro, before you do that, you're gonna to want to install Windows um, it could be Windows 7 or above onto your Mac Pro and you can do that via boot camp. Uh, it, it doesn't matter, you can install it on a separate drive, however you want to do that. Um, that piece is not going to be in this video, but uh, we're going to switch over and I'm going to show you the software that you need and how we do that once you're booted into Windows. If you need help uh, trying to figure out how to remove the video card and reinstall it in the Mac Pro Tower, check out my Pixelas mod video, which will be linked somewhere up here, um, from, and it will walk you through how to actually remove components and reinstall uh, the components in your Mac Pro Tower. And, and for that piece, you can use just, just the section for removing and reinstalling the video card. One thing I wanted to let you guys know is that if you guys are doing this on the Mac Pro Tower itself, you need to make sure that you set your startup drive as the Windows drive before you switch your video cards out. So you want to do this with whatever video card you have that is still giving you a boot screen. So if you have an NVIDIA GT120 or whatever that card is that's giving you that boot screen, you want to make sure that you go into your settings in Mac OS and you, you set the startup drive to be the Windows drive. If you don't do that, you won't be able to boot into Windows because the GTX 680, at least for the purposes of this video, is a PC card and you're not gonna have your boot screen. So when you hold down the option key at startup, you're not gonna be able to see anything. It's just gonna sit there at a black screen. So it's just important to note that you, you set that in your settings and then you shut your computer down and switch the video cards. And then when you boot up, you will automatically boot into Windows and we can perform this task. After which, when, once this card's been flashed, you'll have your boot screen back. So you'll be able to hold down the option key and then boot back into Mac OS. And then from there, you can set your startup drive back to Mac OS. With that, let's head over to the PC. For anybody wanting to do this on their Mac Pro Tower, once the GTX 680 is installed, it'll look something like this. For me, I'm gonna use my Windows PC, so we're gonna switch over now. I'm in running Windows 11. You do wanna make sure that you have the NVIDIA drivers installed for this, no matter whether you're running Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 11, does not matter. And I'll show you here, we do have the drivers installed, and that this is the four gig model, so it's the same card. 
And from here, we need to go to a website called Tech Power Up, and we're gonna install a program uh, called NV Flash. When you get to the website, we do not want the most current version, that's the 5.7. You wanna go to show older versions here at the bottom, and then we're gonna scroll down until we find version 5.4. 16.0 and we're going to download this version. It's going to download as a zip file. You're going to want to extract that and for me I'm going to put it on the desktop for the purposes of this video just to keep everything together. It does not matter where you extract it to but we're going to put all of the files for this process in that folder and you're going to need to get into that folder later uh, in the command prompt so just make sure that you know uh, where you're saving everything. Next, we need to go to a website called dosdude1.com. I'll put a link in the description below. We're going to go to the MISC files tab at the top. And then from there, we're going to click on Mac stuff. And then from there, we're going to click on GPU ROMs and then GTX 680. And so here we have two files listed. The top one is if you have a four gig card. The bottom is if you have a two gig card. So you're gonna wanna download the appropriate one. Um, and then you're gonna wanna extract those files into the same folder that has the NV flash uh, that we just downloaded and extracted so that everything is in the exact same folder. So it should look something like this. Next, we're gonna wanna open up command prompt and you're gonna run that as an administrator. The next thing we need to do is get into the directory. So you're gonna wanna copy the location of the file wherever you saved it, just like this. So you can do that by clicking on the top bar, right click copy, and then go back to command prompt and we're gonna type CD for change directory, then space, and then you can either right click paste or you can do a control V uh, to paste everything and then press enter or return. And that's gonna take us into that directory. And then from here, we're gonna to wanna to make a backup of the ROM on the card in case anything goes wrong. So uh, I'm gonna type NV flash 64 because I'm using a 64-bit uh, operating system. If for whatever reason you are not, then you would just type NV flash. Um, after that, you're gonna do exactly what I'm doing here. So you're gonna do space, dash, dash, save, space, and then whatever you want to name the file for your backup. You just have to put .rom after it. So for me, I'm gonna do the GTX 680 PC .rom and press return. And it's gonna save a copy of the stock BIOS or firmware for this card into that folder. Now we wanna go back to the command prompt and we're gonna type NV flash 64 space dash six space and then the name of the ROM that we downloaded from the DOS Dude 1 server. So in my case, I have a four gig card. So I, you need to type it exactly as you see it here. So GTX 680-4GB-ROM.ROM. Once you have everything matching, you'll press return and it will start to flash the card. One thing to note is when I did this, my screen went completely black and I couldn't see anything. If that happens to you, in a, something like this, you're gonna wait just a couple of seconds and you're gonna press Y and then return, confirming that you wanna flash the file on the card. You'll wait a couple more seconds, uh, depending on whether you're doing this on the Mac Pro or on a PC, you may have to press Y and return a second time, but you may not. Um, for me, I did not have to do it twice, uh, and, and then at the end you will see a confirmation. So your screen should come back up and then you'll see a confirmation that the flash was successful. If for whatever reason you're having an error when you try and flash the card, you can type NV flash or NV flash 64 if you're using the 64-bit version, space, dash, dash, protect off. This will make it so that the card's BIOS is now writable. And then you'll go back and you'll just type the command from the video in order to write the Mac BIOS onto the card. And then, then you should be good to go. So once you've successfully flashed the Mac BIOS, you should see a screen that looks like this that's telling you that it was successful and that we need to reboot our computer. So if you did this in the Mac Pro, 
then you can simply restart your computer and if you did this in a PC then you're gonna obviously need to shut it down take the GPU out and then put it in your Mac Pro and then from here let's see if it worked so we got the GTX 680 installed in the Mac Pro we're gonna power it on And look at that beautiful boot screen. And real quick, we'll show you that we are using the NVIDIA GTX 680 4 gig card, as you can see right here. And so it worked, no problems. That's it for this one, guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments if you uh, had any issues doing this. I'd be more than happy to answer questions. See you in the next one. Peace.